or Daniel He. The Angel Saga series four I did. Uh, Kuma Caravan Park Classic Angel Stories. Angels Chatting. Sort of ideas of the Black Sabbath Heaven and Hell album. Angels and Samael and Rachel. Major focus of the New India series. Four. Some of the focuses are just celebrated in life as one of the concepts for Haley Steinfeld song and um, has, has to be a new original classic idea concept like Mornstar. The overall, some of the volumes. The series four notion is that the angels have gone beyond the days of pride and found their secret to the light, which is the days of pride is how series three should be before Apostolic closes off some of those ideas towards the end. Now, through uh, chat and chill, they are just celebrating life. The Torah community is just celebrating life, which is Haley, and the Christian communities is just being. Melodial's concept, which is an idea of Rebecca St. James, who Melodial is based on. Maybe Ketrovim are humans who've worked out how to live. That might be a concept for Ketrovim, which is a sixth group of angels. Uh, also, the concept of the audio slave song, Show Me How to Live, might also be included somewhere along the line. Uh, the Torah angels are just celebrating life, the Christian angels are just being. The cool servant angels uh, send us. Uh, uh, of series three, spend series three, especially volume one, I suppose, saying, saying, so you think you've got it all worked out. As a servant God, which is their sort of justification, as it were. Um, I, the final words of re the resolution of series four are, yeah, but what the hell has serving God got to do with? That, I think, is probably Ceruvial's concept somewhat. Uh, the main star, mainly for Series 4, is indeed Ceruvial, who goes from the Morning Star's rebellion and freedom to servant of God's will, ultimately. Sort of only. And uh, later on, he might be chilling out and stuff. Not sure how it all work out completely. There were early ideas for Series 4, but that's, that's some of the notes I have in there. This notebook, which is full now, that one's full, but um, nearly halfway through the new notebook, and I've got one more series for stuff, so um, I've talked about the final volumes of um, series three, but it goes up to, series three, Pseudopigraphal Apostolics. Goes up to volume 70 ultimately. 67 is Janty's Revenge, which is a world of David Eddings thing. Um, 68 is Ecclesia 3 in the plans. Or possibly Ecclesia 2, we'll see how that goes. And, yeah. 69 is Belgrass Wisdom, and volume 70 is Enoch's Crusade. Now there's Philo's Crusade, of course, which is further back in series 3, but uh, yeah, I've talked about those other things, that information is already released. So uh, there is a volume 65, which is Jakin's Jakin's Quest or something like that. I think I've got some notes for it in, in that other notebook. I'll talk about Series 3 later, uh, later on, but um, last bits of Series 3. But um, Series 4, uh, let me see. I've got the list of Series 4 volumes from volume 71 up to 100. Uh, this is the general basic plan. It could change, uh, but normally this is the plan. Volume 71, New Direction, then going on, Just Celebrating Life, Anthology, which is like Anthology 7, I think, or something like that. Uh, Twilight Realm 3, because I've done Twilight Realm 2, which is fan fiction. It's not quite complete, but I'm working on it. Infinity 2, Rimwalker 3, Life in the Geo Cities, Eternia 2. I was forgetting about this. The Ecclesia of God 2, which will be a volume indeed. Zionistia, which is volume 80. New Life Focus, Sweet of Chips. Bon Jovi Forever, Twilight Realm 4. Bowling for Super Alexa Bliss, which is volume 85. Kaladin. Glory, Truth, Justice, which is volume 87. Jack Dagger, Fire and Ice, which I've got some notes on. 
which is one round of the act. William, Lucy Pike and the Quest of Grail Deer's Emerald Ring is volume 89, and Frosty Days and the Angel of Fire is volume 90. So, Volume 91 is uh, New Conclusion. Volume 92 is Just Have Fun. Volume 93 is Love. Uh, six or something like that, whatever we're up to. Volume 94 is Twilight Round 5. Volume 95 is Shards of Broken Heart. Four or five, something like that. I'm not sure which one it is. Then there's that, the Harvest 3, I think it is. After that, in Volume 96. There's all sorts of harvest stories, but the, har the harvest title itself, just harvest, I think. I think there was a harvest too, but I'm, I'm up to harvest three, I think. Then there's the Geo Cities 2, the Oblivion Tube 2, the Angel Fire 2, and Volume 100 is Glory Excelsior 2. Now, it's just a note here on the Oblivion Tube 2. The Oblivion, Oblivion Tube 2 is about an update to the Oblivion Tube projects. They only have the Oblivion Tube about a mega or a million years. There's a recommendation for Progress notes, these are their private notes. An Oblivion Tube Council is established. It is at the same location as the first Oblivion Tube. So it's mostly just a recap to refocus them on the Oblivion Tube projects. The uh, Seraphim Name of Eternity and some the Cherubim as well. Okay, um, just as an aside, here's a little bit of Series 5's concept, which is called Gravity Series 5. I've got an idea for Volume 101, which is in consideration. Jesus talking to Ceruvial. It's always frickin' hell or heaven, ain't it, Ceruvial? Just chill, man. Just chill. So that's the main, mainly the Series 5 concept, actually. Ceruvial and Jesus had been skiing at Frebo on New Terror and had an argument, and Jesus pushed him over. Ceruvial thinks over Jesus' admonishment and sees a point. He goes through this for a while, then Wolfgang, the Theophany, shows up. You're doing great. Don't forget your commission. You're an anniversary for a reason, son. Series 5 Gravity, the basic concept. Gravity is about people gravitating to who they really are, as well as societies, institutions and organisations, customs and traditions, and things in life. Gravitating to who they really are. Gravity ultimately sorts you out regardless sort of like your, your, the true nature of what you are, the true nature of things. Okay, I've got a few other... Um, Here's Rimwalker 3, uh, just only a little bit on it. Um, carries on from the A57 storyline with Subaru Takahashi, or whatever his name it is, Sub Subaru, and the Free Radical storylines, which is a volume coming up soon enough in Volume 3. There's also Jenny Gilmore and Galagon, Colton Federation, and Dak Bodhook. So there's five parts to Rimwalker 3. There was a Rimwalker 2 story done. Um, it's shorter, it's just a short story. But part one is the problem with Free Radicals. Part two is Supremator Gilmore. Part three is Colton Conflicts, is with the Colton Con Confederation. Part four is the Family Blood Hook, and part five is Walk of the Rim, which is getting back to his classic Rim Walking days. Okay, there is a few other things. Okay. Right. okay these, these are the notes on Jack Dagger's Fire and Ice, just a bit of notes. Tracking the killer to an active volcano in the Caribbean, the fire element, and tracking the killer to Rovera, which is the capital of the British Antarctic Territory, which is the ice element. The killer's from Hull. The killer was untraceable. His final move is next door to Jack Dagger's home. He didn't know Jack actually lived there. He was being clever. Jack is chatting with his neighbours. They mentioned the old man raking the leaves in the backyard, who is their new boarder. Jack goes over to have a chat to introduce himself. The, uh, the killer turns and looks at him, looks at him, and sort of makes a face, if you know what I mean. How did you find me? I thought I was untraceable. You were, replied Jack Dagger. So that's just some of the basic ideas for Jack Dagger Fire and Ice here. Technically, the third Jack Dagger story, there was Skull and Crossbone, of course, is a Jack Dagger story, but there were notes done on a second one. I'm not sure if I still got those notes, um, but there were notes done and ideas done on, on a second story. OK. 
Okay, now, um, might have a little bit more. Ah, uh, well, you know, that, that appears to be about it on that stuff. Um, well, I've also mostly been doing over the last uh, few days for a while, anyway, is more notes on uh, the Power Games. Now, that's the Hunger Games thing, um, Snow and Winter. Now, I've got notes on that in my no, notes in my other collection, which haven't been done as story yet. They haven't been typed up yet, those notes and those ideas. Uh, I don't normally release notes terribly much. Sometimes I, I do do videos on the notes. But I've got uh, quite a few pages on the Power Games, which is more of more of the stuff. I've done a li I've done a bit more work on the Commitments too, and I've got the basic concept of the Commitments two ideas sorted out. I think I've released the Commitments two. I think it's on the main website, but it's on the Commitments Facebook page or something as well. The movie of the Commitments from Ireland down the band. I've got the concept generally sorted out for the movie now. I've been doing a lot of notes on um, the Power Games. And uh, a lot of notes on on and uh, on and now the dark, which is pretty much volume two of the Hand of Eternity. The stuff I've got online on Hand of Eternity is uh, in two parts, part one and part two. But the current part two there, which is using different names, there is a, a version which has the Tolkien names as well. Uh, the, the the part two there is set in the seventeenth age, whereas the story really was. When, when the Sun of the Moon is destroyed, that ends Volume 1 of the trilogy. And uh, and Volume 2 is actually in Now the Dark. And I've done a lot of notes. I've got 20-odd pages, I think, on Now the Dark. And uh, I won't read it all out, but I've got the notes. And this is one of the other things on Series 4, which is done, Life in the Junior Cities. Here's some notes on Life in the Junior Cities. Uh, page 2 of it. Here we go. Just bottom of that page. So life in the geocities. Uh, amid inquiries of God, Emil inquires of God about permission. This is Emil fifteenth flight. Um, inquires of God about permanent. Uh, inquires of God about permanent records keeping in a geocities assembly hall. Emil says, "I suppose we're keeping records for a reason." She queries the burning purple flame against the back wall of the assembly hall. Silence reply to her. She sat there looking at the flame. Momentarily, she took out her mobile and looked at her texts. After a moment, she put down the, her mobile and looked at the flames and asked why. Again, silence was her only reply. She returned to her mobile, reading messages. Half an hour passed. Sipped on her realm of eternity mellow water and continued reading her messages. She had a hell of a backlog. Finally, the spirit spoke. It's a long eternity. She paused and put down her mobile and, and asked, So? And God responds, You can't contemplate it all easily. Besides, you need legal and moral rights of your history. And we looked at the flame. And she asked, Why? God replies, it's complicated. And we looked at the flame. She returned to her messages. Complicated, she said to herself, amusing. The main theme of life in the Geocities is the main theme of life in the Geocities is Amal 15 fights various questions to God. So that's the Amal 15 fights stuff. And um, I think that's most of the uh, series 
That's Series 4, of course. Um, that's most of the new ideas of Series 4. So there was a commitment to a Navadark Notes and um, Tower Games. And uh, that's, that's a lot of what I've been doing the last few days anyway. And of course, the... Um, well, let me see page one of it. Lucy Potter and the Magic Mushroom. So, quite a few pages on that, but it's 